Hi there, welcome back. This video is going to be on HitFinder and just the what do the columns in HitFinder mean. Uh, very basic uh, and, and very quick. So to start, you can change your display here in HitFinder, okay? So if you go to settings and then to display, you'll see it's broken into recent hits, logged hits, included hits, which is if you go down, scroll down, you'll see that those are there um, and you can remove or add any ones that you want there. I think by default they're all checked, but maybe time. Uh, and then apply it and it'll change the view. So moving from left to right, this I information is give you give you information on the hit. And you can also block the hit, the requester, or include hit a requester. So I'm gonna talk about block versus include in another video because it's a little bit of a strategy type game for some people so I'm just gonna leave that there but you can do it from there and then here is the time um, which means the time that it was last when it was pulled and the time is also right here sometimes it, I just miss that so I don't uh, I like to have it right there because it's it's you can look at it quickly well, some people might not your requester um, your requester information is here so you've got um, your two boxes that are color coded and that's based on this information from Turk Opticon and Turk Review which if you're not you should be a member of both. I'll be updating videos on both of those in the future. And so you're, as I've discussed in other videos your color coding is going to come from those sources and it's worth clicking around to see um, red, you know red might always well, red is usually going to be poor pay, but doesn't necessarily mean rejection. So depending on what you're trying to do, you might need to start looking at reds when it's slow. But I've discussed that before. This gray uh, view right here, if it's checked green, it means you've done a hit for that requester before. Um, I just happen to have not done any for the requesters that are here. And then the next is your actual requester. If you click on it, it's going to take you to MTurk and give you a page that shows that requester's uh, current hits without accepting anything. It just gives you the view. You can go from there. Here under the title part is this little arrow. And this is there if you're going to copy this information to another forum like a facebook forum like a group or turk review forums or something like that or um so and this the short plain it depends on what the the particular uh forum requires uh here on the same gray um column is if you've done that hit it will be checkmarked green. Now, this is the rub with this part. If it's a very general title that's reused among requesters, it's just gonna pull that title. So, for example, if a requester names the hit um, research topic, I don't know, research topic, and multiple requesters use that title, it's just gonna, it's just gonna reflect that you've done a hit that was named, you know, research topic, not for that particular uh, requester. So just be aware of that as you're looking so that you don't get, uh, you don't think you've done something for that requester before and you may not have. Technically, it should be green here and green here, meaning green under the requester and green under the title if you've done it, if you, if you worked for them on that particular hit in the past. So don't get too focused on that row because I think there's, it's not gonna happen often, but it's gonna happen sometimes. Um, then you have the title. So again, if you click on that, it's going to go bring you over to MTurk and you'll see um, anything with that title. Usually it'll be from one requester, but again, occasionally if the title is generic enough, that's where you'll find yourself. Here, number of hits. Uh, we all know what that is, the number of hits in the, in the batch, uh, batch of one, batch of many, and then accept, where if you click it turns into the hand you click that will take you right in through a panda and if it's available it will grab it for you um, here m is masters so masters yes or masters no if you're not masters and you're trying to exclude masters um, then yeah you you probably this isn't going to be as this is 
you know, I struggle because I had it something similar to it when I wasn't masters. When I was masters, I actually don't look at it a lot. Um, I just basically keep this uh, under the settings. I keep it to filter for what I'm qualified to work on. So the master's qualification doesn't really, I don't look at that that very often. Um, but when I'm looking, when I'm using this to look for work that I'm not qualified for to see if I can find stuff to qualify for, then the master sometimes does help. But because technically it should be a smaller pool, I'm not sure it is anymore. And then the last column here on the right is HC, which is Hit Catcher, which is another tool in the MTurk suite, which where you can put in your pandas, your requesters, uh, or your group IDs, and it will automatically catch hits for you. So if you have Hit Catcher up, what you can do is you can click on once or P for panda. And what once means is that it's going to set up a watcher for you and it will grab the hit once. If you set up Panda, it's going to set up a requester, uh, sorry, a watcher for you in Hit Catcher, and it will continue to collect them until either you stop it or there are 25 in your queue. So that's what it is. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see you have logged hits, uh, which are ones that have happened in the past. I generally don't go down there very often because this thing moves pretty quick as you see it probably have seen as I've been talking. So that's just the general, this is just a quick uh, overview for, of the columns and what they mean. I'm gonna continue to do more of these very quick and easy ones for people who like these tools and are just trying to make sure that they're using them to the best of their ability. Uh, I'll continue to do some on the block and include, and then some showing the relationship or how I use Hit Catcher, um, yeah, Hit Catcher with Hit Finder and then Hit Tracker and all of that. So hopefully this is helpful. As always, please let me know if you have feedback uh, and keep on turking. Thanks.